Hi, Firestar here and welcome to my toy review of the SH for Guards Mask Rider Kuga Rising Ultimate Dark Eyes version. Um, I only got this Dark Eyes version because when I saw the Red Eyes, it's just the same. So it's kind of ridiculous for me to get another one since uh, both both figures are just the same. Um, number of hands, number of uh, um, free stuff. It's just that they just changed the compound eyes. But anyway, here's the box. Um, silver and black design. Kuga in black and white. Instead of Kuga's logo underneath, he has Decade's logo because uh, he um, just he was just featured on the uh, Decade movie, but he wasn't in on the series, I mean the Kuga's, Kuga's regular series, so that's why he has Decade's logo. Bandai Collector Shop at the bottom, box on the side, top, back, and profile photos. He has only three, which is okay, that's fine. Um, number to call, which, eh, don't even call. I don't think nobody, I don't think that anybody calls that, those numbers. Um, inclusive of the toy is a Tamashi stand. It's a dark black translucent Tamashi stand. It has the Tamashi, uh, Tamashi Nation's logo in, in the middle. Um, pretty general looking stand. Uh, there's nothing fantastic about it. So, uh, there are a lot of Tamashi stands, but I won't open this or assemble this anymore. And here we have the figure. He has nine hands, um, thumbs up, pointy, uh, two fingers up, whatever. Almost a closed hand, and uh, two, uh, I'll get you, or I'll ring your neck kind of hands so uh, let's open the plastic case so these are all the posable hands for um, Mask Rider Kuga Rising Ultimate um, when I mentioned before that the uh, markings the ground game markings change from uh, figure to figure for Kuga um, I might correct myself because when I check um, it's still the same it's just that the color and the paint apps um, differ because uh, this one has its fingers colored in gold and uh, in the middle instead of um, uh, black over gold this one is a gold um, square something over a black stamp of the ground marking. So that's basically it. Um, do watch my uh, previews um, my other video about uh, Mask Rider Kuga ultimate form um, the the look of the hands are just the same so this is the figure itself um, on the face uh, it's like an extreme version of ultimate form um, he has five major horns plus there are a couple of thorny like design Thorny like design um, that extends here and uh, on the other side. Compound eyes are green, not black. But the good thing about it is that they act as magnifying glass so that the um, design inside the, those plastic um, eyes, uh, it pops, it really pops out. So if you have your own ultimate rising ultimate form, if you um, stare at the eyes of Kuga, they tend to pop out. Head articulation, swivels from left to right, neck articulation, um, shoulders, uh, rotating arms, double jointed elbows, but it's quite hindered by the um, a lower part of the arm so it doesn't really fold as much as other figures swiveling arm um swiveling hand it also goes in and out 
torso articulation um, doesn't move that much though it has like um, a circular motion over here um, it really hinders him going from left to right there's also a joint underneath the belt uh, but again uh, it really doesn't move as much the belt is quite loose but uh, I suggest not to force it you might um, uh, break it in half leg articulation silvers from that right and unlike uh, ultimate form he has an additional extended um, joint of ears for an added reach so for this figure he can bend or uh, place his leg on a 90 degree angle it's kind of nice double jointed knee swiveling foot a hinge over here uh, near the heel and on the ankle so we have a full or semi full range of motion for the foot underneath the foot there are a couple of shoe markings on the belt so in rising ultimate form um, we can't really see what's inside of this uh, supposed to be opaque um, or translucent um, plastic because he is the ultimate ver ultimate ultimate <laughs> rising ultimate version of Kuga it means yeah the the characters uh, dark in nature so the whole jewel over here is absolutely dark you can see what's inside unlike uh, ultimate version he does he can move his arm higher than uh, ultimate form but again he it's hindered by his shoulder pads so um, if even if um, the shoulder pads are loose and you can lift those up uh, it doesn't really permit him to raise his arm on a 90 degree angle it doesn't annoy me really but uh, it's something that you should know if you want to get your own ultimate rising or rising ultimate keep on changing the names leg design uh, still consistent with its uh, head design um, there, are, there are really sharp points plastic points on the sides and the arm and ankles the um, armbands and the anklets are now covered in black and uh, there's no hint that uh, it's painted or it the the jewel in the middle is a translucent pa uh, translucent pa plastic basically it about um, about rising ultimate form I do like the idea that they still placed some lines over here so that it will be consistent with um, the the former um, rising forms or his uh, costume when he is in ground form so be mindful of that um, these parts can be removed Another thing I noticed about this figure is that this is this um, toy is not well balanced. If you uh, even if I adjust the legs or make him absolutely stand straight, he is tilted to his right. No matter how much I try to bend a couple of joints or parts, still bends to the right this may be a, a huge annoyance especially if you're really keen in um, balance and precision with your figures sad to say this is not quite perfect let me know um, through the comment section below if you have the same problem that he's tilting to one side or uh, there's something wrong about this figure uh, I just opened this figure as of this video I couldn't really point out or pinpoint what's the problem with this SH figure art but overall the design I, do, I really do like the, the design black over um, it 
the figure is over uh, overall it's black um, and then highlighted with gold apps and then um, painted over additional black paint um, or black uh, lines over gold so it's pretty much consistent when it comes to paint design if you know someone who knows how to customize figures you might want to put uh, uh, black paint over here or on the shins on the lines so it will add more drama to the figure it's up to you uh, since it's a Bandai collector shop you might it's either you, you want to customize it or uh, you don't so that's basically it about the figure and the whole um, SH figure arts mask rider Coo -coo 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 -ga! rising ultimate form if you like my impression of the decayed belt for Kuga um, place your comments below I do appreciate um, comments suggestions thumbs up ratings whatever on my toy reviews please do um, I would really appreciate that and also do visit my blog spot for the full written review again like I uh, always say there are a couple of photos at the end of the video so do enjoy those again this is Firestarter thank you very much and until my next review